Hello there, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our course on forex trading where we keep trading on a live forex account. So today we're going to approach the American dollar Canadian dollar chart and we're going to try to trade a rising wedge chart pattern. So what you are currently seeing is the 30 minute chart of the American dollar Canadian dollar forex pair. So we see increasing bottoms on the chart as well as increasing tops. However, as you see, the bottoms are increasing more intensively than the tops. This means that we probably have a rising wedge chart pattern on the chart. So let's build the pattern. We stretch the first line through the bottoms of the price action. And then we do the same with the tops. So this is the rising wedge. As we all know, the rising wedge pattern has strong bearish potential. So, this means that the rising wedge you're currently seeing on the chart could bring the price action in bearish direction. However, we would first need to see the price action breaking through the lower level of the rising wedge. Therefore, we need to wait to get the confirmation signal that is going to support our short decision on the chart. If this happens, then we will have a sufficient reason to pursue a price action equal to the size of the rising wedge pattern in its widest part, which is the left part of the wedge, right over here. over here. So if the price action breaks the lower level of the wedge, we can take the distance between this stop over here and the vertical distance between the top and the lower level of the wedge. Then we can apply this distance starting from the moment of the breakout. We apply it downwards. And we pursue the lowest level created by this distance as our target for our short trade. After we short the American dollar, Canadian dollar for pair, we should place a stop loss order above the highest point of the rising wedge pattern, which is currently this stop over here. But we should not forget that before breaking the lower level of the wedge, the price action could create one or couple or more tops on the upper level of the wedge, which means that the the high point could be uh, could be brought uh, even more further upward. So for now, we're going to mark this level over here as our potential stop loss level of the trade which we intend to order in case of a bearish breakout through the lower level of the wedge. So for example, if the wedge breaks somewhere here, then we will short the American dollar, Canadian dollar for pair, placing a stop loss order over here. Let's put the entry point on the chart. Let's say the wedge breaks here. We're going to mark the level with green. So if the wedge breaks here, we're going to sell here. We're going to put our stop loss order here and we are going to pursue a target. equals to the vertical distance between that top over here and the lower level of the wedge. Let's mark this with green and let's take it over here. So in case the wedge breaks 
over here. We're going to short the American dollar, Canadian dollar, placing a stop loss order above the highest point of the wedge, which is currently this level. And we're going to pursue a target with this size. So now let's pause the video and see if the price action is really going to break our rising wedge chart pattern. Okay, we're back with the 30 minute chart of the American dollar, Canadian dollar. As we see, the price action broke the lower level of the wedge, which uh, is the reason why we intend to open a short trade, placing a stop loss order. Uh, at the level of the red horizontal line, we apply it at the highest part of the wedge. At the same time, we're going to place a take profit order at the end of our at the end of the distance of the rising wedge pattern in its widest part. So let's adjust the levels, stop loss, and take profit over here so now we have our short trade with a take profit order somewhere near 1.3077 and a stop loss order at 1.3168 and we took this trade on the assumption that the price action will decrease According to the rules of a rising wedge chart pattern, where we open the short trade uh, in the moment when the price action closed a candle below the lower the lower level of the rising wedge pattern, and in the circle here you see the breakout through the rising wedge pattern. So we'll be back shortly with the end result of this trade to see if the price action really completed our target in this case. Couple hours later, we see that the price action creates a very, uh, very intensive decrease, uh, which comes after a return to the already broken lower level of the rising wedge pattern so the the price action tests the wedge as a resistance turning the lower level the lower level from a support into a resistance bounces in bearish direction creating an a shooting star candle pattern right over here let me zoom it in for you. This is the shooting star candle pattern, which has a bearish potential. And then the price action shoots downward right over here and goes very close to our take profit order, which stays at uh, 1.3077. Uh, for this reason, we believe that it is probably a matter of time until the price action reaches our uh, take profit order and uh, we complete successfully our trade. So let's wait uh, a little more to see if uh, the trade is really going to <coughs> is really going to to turn out to be profitable. Okay guys, we're back three hours later and as we see the price action has already hit our take profit level at 1.3077 right over here. So let's place that level as it was right over here. This was our take profit level and as you see the price action hits it which triggers our exit point. From the trade here it is the price interaction with our take profit level over here our entry point was located at 
1.3118 which means that we stayed in the trade for a profit of about 41 pips our stop loss order is untouched which means that the trade is fully successful so now let's measure one more time the size of the rising wedge pattern we traded as i said we take the the first stop of the wedge at its widest part the left part this is the size from the top the vertical distance from the top to the lower level of the wedge and we apply it starting from the moment of the breakout right over here as you see the distance is absolutely the same and the price action hits the 1.3077 level which was our take profit level and this way we generated a profit of 41 pips so thank you for watching this was uh, our forex trading course on a live account I'm Damian from forexbolt.com and see you back on the next forex trading course.